Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel, it's Cass. If this is your first time here, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and tap the bell, give me a comment, a thumbs up, and also turn your post notifications on. If you're returning, thanks so much for coming back this week. So this week we're gonna be discussing this hair. I absolutely love curly hair in the summertime. It's just so easy and manageable. You don't have to do much with it, literally just spray and go. It's just so low maintenance, but also still serving looks, and I just love that about curly hair. So I'm gonna just give you the quick specs and then we're gonna jump into the application process and like a boxing that I did last night. This is the next day hair. I just let it air dry overnight. There's absolutely no product in this hair at all. I didn't put any type of mousse, any serum, any type of curl enhancer as far as like the actual curls go. Of course I used mousse to lay down the top but that was it. This is the 24 inch loose wave Mongolian hair in 150% density. This is a wig that's already made. As you guys know, I don't like to make wigs. I have to actually have to like be forced to make a wig because they never come out right. So anytime I can find a wig that's already pre-made, that's giving me volume, that's giving me quality, I'm going to grab it by the hands, okay? And hold on tight. So yeah, we're gonna just jump right in and I'll let you guys know my thoughts afterwards. See you in a minute. All right guys, so this is the wig. Of course it came in this IC hair box. Came with some lashes, the norm, we know that life. This is also the bag that the hair came in. I love them because they actually have them labeled and it's great for storing your hair so you know what hair you're wearing. So this is the water wave in 24 inches. It's a Mongolian hair, 150% density and it's a 13 by six lace front. You can kind of see my hairline here. I don't have it pulled all the way forward, but I do need to pluck it. It's once again thin behind the very front, but then it gets super thick afterwards. So they did pluck it a little bit, but not as farther back as I would like. I'm not gonna bleach it today. I'm gonna just use my Sally Hansen foundation leg tanning spray situation. I like soak the frontal out with it. And what I do is I let it sit for about an hour or two. And then I just go ahead and wash the entire unit and kind of wash the leg spray kind of out. And it looks like it bleaches the knots a little bit. So that's what I'm gonna do today instead of bleaching it. I just wanted to show you guys the inside of the wig. So it does come with four combs, which is cool. The one that we never use up at the top of the head, it has one at the base. And then of course it has one on each side. Um, it does come with the adjustable strap as well. And then like I said, it's a 13 by six front. So.
guys as you can see the application process is for me okay i love to do my curly hair completely soaked okay i just like to soak it and go i don't like to use a hot comb because i feel like i can get my hair to lay with just water and mousse and with my scarf as long as you have time to let your hair dry curly hair dry you really don't need in my opinion to put a hot comb to your roots to lay the frontal down um, the good thing about curly hair is once again you can literally soak it and that's the style for it you're trying to keep it in its natural state anyways so you might as well just style it that way and not waste your time you know what I'm saying? I'm really a plain Jane. I like to keep it in the natural lens, but I had to get a 24 inch. I said, you know what? It's summertime. Let me do a little something for the girls. It is a little much for me still, and I almost thought about cutting it, but I said, you know what, Cass? Grow up, okay? Grow up, and you take this 24 inches, and you live your best life. And that's just that. I am going to show you guys what the pattern looks like a little bit closer. Look at her go. Need we discuss more? I don't think so. I didn't even bleach these knots. As you guys know, I literally just took it out of the box and washed it. It can use a good bleaching of the knots, but the method of using my Sally Hansen Lug Foundation Spray worked well for now. I did pluck, as you guys saw, just a little bit. Like I said, like these pre-plucked wigs now, now that I'm, I know a little bit more about wigs, I'm starting to see that they'll pluck just like the very front by the baby hairs and then immediately behind that is so thick. I have no rhyme or reason to the way that I pluck. I literally just pluck it till it looks a little bit thinner. That's it. I don't pluck to match my hairline. I'm not a pro, okay? I'm just doing something to make it look a little bit less wiggy. <laughs> so, Alright guys, that is the end of the video. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. I love you so much. I hope that you have an awesome day. Bye.